after Todd Hill and Murray State's Blue Jazz Combo to live lunch today on Sounds Good, a couple of days before Valentine's Day. And I need to congratulate you, Todd. Uh, you were just named the Kentucky Music Educators Association College University Teacher of the Year. Does that mean I get to retire? <laughs> it means you get an hour on WKMS. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Well, tell us, Todd, uh, who's, who's in the group this year? I know you had some, some changeover, but uh, go around the room and, and tell us who's back and who's new. Okay, we've got a lot of new folks in this group this semester. And first off, Grant Ellington on the tenor sax and the alto sax from Newburgh, Indiana. Grant's a senior music education major. A freshman from Memphis, Tennessee, Darian Matthews was a student of one of my dear friends down there at Overton High or several of my dear friends at Overton High School, several folks there I was real close with. And then on the trombone, the Wingo Kid, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, Hunter Moffitt from uh, over at Graves County. He's a sophomore this year. And on the bass, a senior in the music ed department, it is Luke Dennis on the bass. On the drums, we have Zenon Garcia, a senior from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And he's been with the jazz orchestra a couple of years. And this is the first time that he's been in a combo. Uh, with us and on the guitar Chris Abel from Owensboro he's a you're a senior plus or so or no 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 what, what, what are you Chris it's, okay yeah, that's a, it, it's it's not a matter for discussion he's gonna be paying some loans back for a while and then uh, on uh, the keyboard is uh, Clay Bernard from Nixa Missouri and he's a sophomore uh, we thought we'd uh, and because this group is so new I mean they've literally been together three weeks that's how long these folks have been together. Darian is the only person who was in this group last semester. So uh, these are all sort of newbies, but they've all been through the combo program and the big band programs. And uh, we're really pleased with how they're doing at this rate early in the semester like this. But we thought we'd do a little tune for you. Do uh, you want to talk about this tune or you want us just well, play Well, won't you set it up and then you can go into it? Well, okay, we can do that. This is uh, a tune, a real favorite among the beboppers. It was recorded by Chet Baker and Jerry Mulligan, a lot of those cats back mm -hmm. in the 50s. And uh, it was named after the piano player who came up with it and couldn't think of a name. So allegedly Mulligan and Brookmeyer and those guys just started calling it Bernie's Tune because the piano player's name was Bernie Miller. So anyway, here's Bernie's Tune. One, two, one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Blue Jazz Combo and Dr. Todd Hill. Guys, he said you locked in a room for the last month practicing, right? Because there's no way only one of you is a holdover from last semester. They're great, Todd. Well, it's we get one hour a week to rehearse because it's a, considered a chamber ensemble. So we meet, and, and this will be interesting for everybody, <laughs> and the band's already laughing. We meet at 7.30 on Tuesday mornings. Yeah. They're always awake and bright-eyed, right? Most of them. <laughs> do you want me to name names? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know that you've got your pick of lots of talented students in the jazz program here. What do you look for as a member of this group? What sets them aside, that little something extra? Sheer guts. I mean, because really, I mean, they got to step out. I mean, these guys, and, and it works this way with all the all the kids that are in the combos, I mean, most of them have come through traditional band programs where, you know, you play exactly what's on the page. You and, and most of them are all in studio lessons and stuff where you play exactly what's on the page. And this is really the first time they're allowed to kind of get outside the box a little bit. So that's for most of them. It's a it's a it's a, a tough first step to make to start getting that in mind. Um, I would say that that'd be the number one requirement. That and the fact that they're they're all fine musicians you know, already when they walk in the door. But that's why we have three combos and why we have three big bands. It's kind of a farm system, you know. The, the, the order of the combos, like the blue combo, then the gold combo, then the white combo. 
and they're all three really strong this semester. And then we got the three big bands. We got the jazz orchestra, then the jazz band, then the jazz lab big band. So does everyone work their way up through the other combos to get to the blue? Well, you can hop in. You can hop in, but it's more normal when you start out in the lower ones and work your way up. The same thing with the big bands, too. Once in a, once in a while, there'll be somebody that'll come in and pop into the top group right off, but most likely not. And that's just, to me, that's the sign of a healthy program. That, you know, we don't, the, the top group might have a freshman or two, you know, each year. You know, so it, it's not as, not as freshman-oriented as some of the other things are. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to hear more from uh, Todd Hill and his MSU Blue Jazz combo coming up after this. Support for 91.3 WKMS comes from Kentucky Utilities, whose commercial program helps. Be here with uh, Dr. Todd Hill and the MSU Blue Jazz Combo, and uh, in a moment we're going to have uh, Scott Thiele sit in with you. How did you uh, convince that to happen? Well, Scott and I work together a lot, <laughs> so that's a good thing. And he still and, agreed to appear with you. Well, a absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. We're going to do some some tunes that uh, we're going to put out there for the first time with my quintet on a show this weekend. So. Where, where are you playing this weekend? Uh, we're playing in uh, Paducah at uh, Walker Hall for the Four Rivers Dance Association. We're doing a, a show for them on Saturday evening, 7 to 10. And I think that that is $25 per person. It's, a, it's an open dance. And uh, if folks in the area come on out, I think there's a few reservations left. But Ashley Thurman has put that together, and uh, we have a good working relationship. We really enjoy working with them. We're going to hear My Funny Valentine next, right? That's correct. But it's not the traditional arrangement. Well, we, we decided to put it in a little bit of a, a Latin groove. And yeah. it's, not, it's not really dirty, but we call it My Funky Valentine. Th does does Just, that song want to be played in a Latin groove? Well, you know, the first time I ever heard it done that way was a recording of Charlie Parker that was made at Carnegie Hall live. And I thought, that's really kind of unusual because nobody ever thinks of that as being a Latin. But, but Bird did it like in 1953 or something. So I figured it'd be all right for us to do it. All right. Most things Bird did are okay, except for the social things. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Funny Valentine. One, uh, two, uh, one, two,
Funny Valentine. Wonderful work from the MSU Blue Jazz combo. Now we're going to transition into some trio work. And uh, Todd's going to move on over to the keyboards. And we've got Scott Thiele, who's going to be joining uh, in on bass. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Check, check, Slovak, Slovak, right. Okay, here we go. We're going to do uh, a couple of three tunes in. Uh, I'm going give, give, give Scott a note. There we go. We're trying to get everything run in quickly today. Um, Scott is our regular bass player for the quintet, and uh, Dean Hughes from Princeton is our regular drummer, and uh, Dr. Derek Jones from here in town uh, at band director at Callaway, plays tenor sax for me, along with some clarinet and everything else. Let me and ask you, Ty, a lot yeah. of uh, jazz artists, some of my favorites, I think of Oscar Peterson and Gene Harris and Bill Evans, they preferred to work in a trio format. That's um, true. What but is it? They were that, better players than me. Well, <laughs> better players than most everybody, but, but right. what, what is it that it takes to make a successful trio? Because you lose you lose the horns, but you gain more room. You gain more room, but you got to have everybody listening all the time. And that's why I trusted uh, Zenon to jump in on drums today, because he really listens terrifically. As you can tell within the, within the uh, context of the combo, he's a super listener. He does that too with the jazz orchestra really listens and pays attention and stuff. Of course, Scott and I have been working together off and on for a couple of, couple of years. It's the last 10 years, a lot, a lot of jobs together. So anyway, this is an old tune that uh, was written by, I, got, I can't even believe I'm doing this, uh, written by a guy from Western. His name was Billy Vaughn. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, Billy Vaughn You're going to do a Western song? Or are you yeah, saying? well, you know. Uh, I just got to pretend there's not a big blood clot running around the court, you know, or something when it's, you know, like, you know that's, man, what a, what a, what a mascot. Uh, anyway, this is an old tune by Billy Vaughn. He recorded it with his group that he had in the uh, early 1950s, the Hilltoppers, on the old Dot record label. And uh, this one is called Tryin'. Well, I'm trying. Get you to try as I may. You're still my every thought there, every day. Oh, yes, I'm trying to forget you.
knocking at your door. It was on his last recording session, actually, in 1964. Here we go, boys. L is for the way you look at me. one we're going to do um, is a tune that um, Karen Allison just put out on her new album and uh, kind of borrowing from her a little bit as far as if uh, we can for a minute just as far as the way she does this tune which I thought was very novel and um, I thought she did a really cool job with this because she took a tune from the King and I and then set it in a Latin so we've got an American tune that was supposed to be written to sound like something from the uh, from Southeast Asia, but then uh, we put in that uh, a Latin beat. So you know who knows, all right? So <laughs> here we go. This is a, this is gonna be the first time we've run this. So uh, actually, this is the first time we've run either of those uh, things. You know, my penchant for getting up early and starting to write in the morning. Here we go. So this is two, three, four. <laughs>
than by now I think I know what it's like to be loved by you and I love being loved by you Garcia, Scott Thiele, Todd Hill, wonderful stuff. We'll be back with more great jazz on Live Lunch after this. And Todd Hill. Thank you very much, Todd. Uh, wow, that was a great trio set, and really you've never done those before. You just performed them. No. Wow, that's some pretty good stuff. We've got a couple of songs left, and there are a couple of the all-time great standards. And start out by telling me the story of Killer Joe. Killer Joe, and uh, this one was on the uh, Benny, Goodson, Benny Golson Art Farmer Jazz Tet album called Meet the Jazz Tet, and we're going to do this for you with a little little different flair here at the beginning on, on that one. You know, Benny read this beautiful little recitation, but we borrowed another recitation that Tim Hauser used to do with the, with the Manhattan Transfer, and I wanted to give you a little bit of that taste before we head into the tune. So let's start with a vamp, guys. A one, two, a one, two, three, and... Here's a story about Killer Joe. story about Killer Joe. He's a real bad cat. I told you so. Silk on the corners of his fancy threads. Double-breasted pinstripe pork pie prints. Fast talking. Good looking. Flam, flam, jive. Pour gasoline on your Vaseline and give you a power try. He's the kind of cat Make a dead man cry Look out It's Killer Joe
The MSU Blue Jazz Combo. Great, great stuff, Todd. And you've got one more. It happens to be my favorite jazz standard. Tell us about Green Dolphin Street. Really? That's your favorite That's tune? Favorite. That's a great tune. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, Green Dolphin Street. We need to get a B-flat over here, let Grant tune up the alto. It's been laying on the studio floor for an hour, so it's cold, I'm sure. And Grant? Hey, you did a good job guesstimating that, young man. All right. <laughs> Here we go. It's a little Green Dolphin Street, also known as Purple Porpoise Parkway. It's just for that's just for our own good. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. to a Sounds Good live lunch here on WKMS. Our thanks to Dr. Todd Hill and the MSU Jazz Combo, as well as everyone in Studio B that came up to hear some fantastic music this afternoon. Support comes from Western Kentucky University Center for Gifted Students, serving children who are gifted and talented, their educators and their parents for 35 years. Now accepting applications for middle and high school summer camps, details at wku.edu slash gifted. This is WKMS 91.3 FM HD1 and 2 Murray, WKMD 90.9 FM HD1 and 2 Madisonville, and WKMT 89.5 FM Fulton. We are part of the educational mission of Murray State University. Good afternoon. It's 1 o'clock.